Results of the runoff are in. A month after midterm elections saw neither candidate securing 50% of the vote. Baptist pastor and Democratic nominee for the US Senate for Georgia, Raphael Warnock, is victorious. It, it is my honour to utter the four most powerful words ever spoken in a democracy. The people have spoken. Here's to six more years, tweets President Joe Biden as he congratulates Senator Warnock. Republican challenger, former football star Herschel Walker's campaign was plagued by controversy. A vocal anti-abortion advocate, he was dogged by reports that he paid for multiple former girlfriends to have abortions, allegations that he denied. There are no excuses in life, and I'm not going to make any excuses now because we put up one heck of a fight. And I said, that's what, that's what we got to do. Oh, we're disappointed. We really hoped Herschel was going to win. Tonight was a big loss, but it's not the loss. Democrats are now headed for a 51-seat majority in the 100-seat Senate, giving it control of Senate committees and more leeway in tight votes. But they could face some roadblocks in the House of Representatives after Republicans won a narrow majority there in the midterms, although falling short of the red wave they'd hoped for. Adding to Donald Trump's uphill battle as he seeks another term as president. He's set to appeal the conviction of his real estate company, which carried out a criminal scheme to defraud tax authorities. And former Vice President Mike Pence has reacted unfavorably towards Donald Trump's recent call to terminate parts of the Constitution over his claims that the 2020 election was stolen. Yvonne Young, ABC News.